An Adobe Dreamweaver course will teach you how to use the industry standard professional tools for creating innovative website designs. With Dreamweaver training, you can learn how to deliver your ideas onto web pages and mobile media. It's the definitive tool for creative web expression today. Adobe Creative Suite 4 is now the minimum standard, so be sure you train to this version or higher. But any creative web design student will be selling themselves short if they limited themselves purely to Dreamweaver training. Along with your Dreamweaver skills, professional designers will also be expected to have proficient skills in Adobe Flash to create animations and bring a site to life. These two commanding design tools will help you to create stunning dynamic web pages. Dreamweaver for building great looking and easy to maintain pages and Flash for an extra dimension of interactivity, design animation and special effects. These exciting skills can also lead on to becoming an Adobe Certified Expert or an Adobe Certified Professional. Such Adobe certifications will ensure that you get shortlisted for interview when it's time to go into industry. However, web design is a very subjective skill and once you've got to the interview, you'll need to show what you can do. So it's vital to prepare a portfolio of your designs to show your prospective employer. You'll really need several showcase websites online. To become commercially viable, today's market demands that web professionals have very well-rounded skill sets, and building the website is just the start. Your Dreamweaver course should also extend to a full tutorial in HTML and CSS. These are the underlying languages and layout descriptions which Dreamweaver creates in the background for you. But without a keen knowledge of how the creative code works, you'll be very restricted if you need to get in and debug or streamline your sites. The next step will be to cover dynamic HTML and PHP programming, and these will allow you to start getting to grips with dynamic websites, which is essential for professional work. Modern sites use server-side scripts and programs to make decisions or look up data before it's sent to your browser. Without this type of functionality, all database-driven websites like Amazon or eBay simply couldn't function. In fact, if you need your site to be anything more than a simple online catalogue or brochure, then dynamic coding is paramount to create that interactivity with the user. It may be worthwhile to quickly define the difference between a web browser and a search engine at this point, as there's a lot of confusion in this area. Google and YouTube recently did a survey and found that less than 5% of people know the difference, so you're definitely not alone if you're in that category. A browser is quite simply a piece of computer software that interprets web page program code. It displays web pages according to the computer languages they were created in, and there are a lot of languages. It's a fairly dumb display tool and most of the fancy decisions and data lookups are done at the web server before the page is sent out to be displayed on your screen. Without a browser, you couldn't look at web pages. And the most popular browsers are Microsoft Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, Opera and the new Google Chrome. A search engine, on the other hand, is a dynamic website which holds a huge index of all the web pages that it thinks are worth listing. It's kind of like the index at the back of a reference book, so the bigger the book, the longer it would take to find what you wanted if you just had to flip through. It's now estimated that Google, for example, indexes over 50 billion websites and a trillion individual pages. Just imagine trying to find what you want in that lot without an index. So Google uses some very fancy algorithms, and according to recent publications, one of the most powerful computer arrays on earth, to pull out a list of what you want according to the keywords that you type in and in order of importance or relevance. Of course, the importance and relevance is somewhat subjective, which is why we often have to go through three or four pages to find what we really want. But you get the idea. A search engine is essentially just a website that provides an index to an awful lot of other websites. Next, you'll need to know how to handle e-commerce sites and perhaps one of the most important but often overlooked requirements is an understanding of search engine optimization. With over a billion people online in the world today, the internet is a pretty busy place. 
many new websites fail because they get lost in the crowd. So learning how to optimize your websites to feature well on the major search engines is highly critical. People with web design knowledge will often go on to become full web developers. This generally involves taking professional programming qualifications such as the Microsoft MCPD or Microsoft Certified Professional Developer for example. Where web designers concentrate on the visual aspects of a site, the pretty bit at the front, web developers create the more involved software that enables a modern e-commerce site to function, essentially the program code for the back office. This might check product availability when an order is placed, or it could also check weight and delivery details, raise an invoice and update the sales ledger. This is only a tiny example, but the code that actually makes a professional site do what it's supposed to do is handled by the developer. So whether your interest lies ultimately on the developer side of web design or very much on the creative side, a comprehensive and worthwhile Dreamweaver course should be about much more than Dreamweaver training alone.